Born from the ashes of World War II, absurdism is philosophy's existential crisis. Albert Camus, its poster boy, drops the mic with The Myth of Sisyphus in 1942, basically saying, life's meaningless, deal with it. Picture this, you're a hamster on a wheel, running frantically to find meaning in a universe that's fundamentally indifferent to your existence. Welcome to absurdism, folks. Important precursors and discussions of the absurd are also found in the works of Søren Kierkegaard. Absurdism is intimately related to various other concepts and theories. Its basic outlook is inspired by existentialist philosophy. I have amassed so much knowledge, and yet I remain confused, empty. What am I evolving into? What is my purpose? I must know! Tell me! But here's the twist. Camus isn't telling you to quit. He's saying embrace the absurd like it's a cosmic joke you're in on. Think of absurdism as the red pill of philosophy. Once you swallow it, you can't unsee the fundamental mismatch between our desire for meaning and the universe's stubborn silence. Kafka got it. His stories are like absurdist fever dreams. Sartre and Beckett joined the party, turning literature and theater into playgrounds of meaninglessness. Fast forward to today. Absurdism isn't just for beret-wearing intellectuals. It's the DNA of meme culture, the spirit animal of nihilistic millennials, the secret sauce of shows like Rick and Morty. But here's where it gets meta. The more seriously you take absurdism, the more you're missing the point. It's like trying to win at a game that's rigged, but playing anyway because, well, what else are you going to do? Absurdism isn't about finding the answers. It's about learning to dance with the questions. So next time you're doom scrolling through existential dread, remember, you're not just having a crisis, you're participating in a grand absurdist tradition. In a world that's increasingly chaotic and unpredictable, absurdism isn't just philosophy. It's a survival strategy. It's the difference between drowning in meaninglessness and surfing on it. Are you Sisyphus cursing the boulder or are you Sisyphus with a skateboard ready to ride that rock down the hill? If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.